Good morning, good morning. Happy Vlogmas day one. Welcome to my channel if you're new here, but welcome back if you're not. I am here with 25 vlogs this December, so it's gonna be kind of crazy. I am so excited. I will link my previous years of Vlogmas down below, but this year's kind of jam-packed. I'm going away. I'm having so much done to the house. We're gonna go Christmas shopping. I would love to tell you that I've been super organized and done all my Christmas shopping on Black Friday, but no, didn't happen. So we have to do that, but good morning. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 1. Welcome to my life. If you are new, hi, my name's Emily. I have been on YouTube for 10 years. I recently celebrated my 10-year YouTube anniversary. I'll link that vlog down below. It was so crazy. But yeah, I'm 26 years old. I moved into this house relatively recently. We we're talking like a couple months ago. So there is so much to do and you're going to watch me. Welcome to my life. It's going to be a crazy December. But what I would like to say is I don't know why these shorts look like this. They're very much like not flattering, are they? but they're very comfortable. I got up and ready this morning before I started chatting to you because today my dressing room's being fitted, which is just so insanely exciting. I've been waiting for this day for what feels like so long. I was so indecisive when it came to picking and yeah, I just can't believe the day is finally here and the fitter is here. I had to let him in super early, but let me show you what I got to yesterday because I felt like I had to show you this and then we'll carry on with today. Hello, hello, it's Emily from the past. Well, yes, today and I thought I would empty out the dressing room with you because it feels a bit like a rite of passage. This has been my temporary dressing room and obviously tomorrow everything's getting fitted which is so exciting but I have to move all of this to the guest bedroom because once this has been fitted, the gym is being fitted and the drawing room is being fitted so really my first step should be to empty the guest room but I actually want to show you around the dressing room a little bit first just so you can see it's actually, I was going to say it's, it's a bit of a state, it's not really. Considering things don't have a home it's fine but let me show you so this is what we're working with if you haven't seen my shutters yet i mean they've been up for a while but aren't they just beautiful so i have my alex drawers which i'm not going to be able to move on my own i'm sure the fitter will be able to help me with those and then yeah i need to move all my perfumes the little table the basket and i've just been living off these rails one of them did clap which you might have seen if you watched my 10 year YouTube anniversary vlog a while back. But yeah, this is what the room's looking like right now. There is just bits and bobs everywhere. Like it's just kind of like stuff. But yeah, I need to empty the guest bedroom first. And what I'm going to have to do is take everything off the rails, move the rails and then move the things back onto the rails because otherwise the rails are, are going to collapse. It's kind of at that point. But this is what we are dealing with in here. I have an air bed and a mattress. So I'll be able to let the air bed down and then I'll just pop the mattress up on its side. But yeah, I need to get all of the things out of here that are like unnecessarily in here. Like the shoe stuffing and the shoe bag and the printer. This has been set up as my little stuff room and I've had a few people come and stay actually and they've loved it, which has been so nice. But for now, it is time to uh, put it all away. I have to say though, I am so insanely excited to have my dressing room fitted tomorrow. I haven't been struggling or anything to manage with what I have because oh my goodness, I still have a whole freaking room and I have, you know, the setup with all my bits and bobs. I know where everything is, but it just doesn't feel very special. And I always wanted that room to feel very special. So I think we're about to have that moment, which is just so incredibly exciting. Much better. It is all in one corner now, which is so good. So I have all of this space to bring all of the clothing rails in. I'm trying to think how I should do this. And I think I should put the things that I'm not going to use much right at the back. And I would say that is the dresses and the jeans because I can take a couple pairs off and just put them on one of the rails. Actually, maybe I should do that. Maybe on one of the rails, I should just put all the clothes that I'm going to like wear just for the next week. Okay, the first one is in. <laughs> Look at the bend. My gosh. If anyone's wondering why I haven't purchased furniture for these rooms yet, this is why. I knew I would end up having to play Tetris, so I'm glad that I uh, have waited, but oh my goodness, after this week, I'll be able to start getting things in. It's going to be so insanely exciting. I'm a little warm, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I have one rail left. The room is 
looking rather full. I don't know whether to put the next one right in the middle, kind of like that, or no, I think I should. I think that probably makes the most sense because then in reality, if it's like this, I still will be able to get around each side. But this is the state in here. I have one more, but what I also forgot is all of this. So that's gonna have to go into the bathroom. I am done. Oh my goodness. I am so warm. Like it's so warm in here. Can you hear the echo? Let me show you. So this is how it's looking. It is officially empty. You can really see how beautiful the flooring is and the, uh, the shutters as well but yeah it is an empty room and it's going to be full within the next couple of days but i really wish i could manage to take this out i might actually unscrew all of the drawers and just move them one by one and then i'll be able to lift the carcass on my own because i would like to start with a blank canvas i think it would be much more satisfying but yeah this is such a beautiful room and if this wasn't my dressing room this would absolutely be my bedroom there was a time where i really wanted it to be but it felt like a waste of such a beautiful space just to sleep in here so i am happy that it's it's getting you know proper use but i'm gonna call it for now that's uh that'll do and then in here this is what we're dealing with and then everything else is in the bathroom uh it's honestly organized chaos i obviously know where everything is because i know what's on each rail which is so actually really really good i didn't think i was going to be able to access it but yeah it's temporary you know <laughs> it's, it's all part of the journey it's all part of the fun he would happily sleep in here because it would feel like a den like if i put a bed down there Oh my goodness, he'd be the happiest dog in the world. I feel like it would just smell like me in a whole room. You know what I need? A coffee. Oh, so great. Thank you for interrupting me when I was about to talk to my friends. <laughs> you would think, considering I make multiple coffees a day, I would know that as soon as I click the button, it makes a loud noise. So the plan for December is many friends, many fun, many memories, many videos. <laughs> goal i just want to have the most fun sociable enjoyable memory making december i feel like my goal in life for the past few years has been to grow my world and i feel like i've really done that personally but i've kind of grown it with people that don't really want to be on the internet so i want to meet some more people this december that want to be in my videos and that you guys know and that i've met through youtube and that's like my goal so i guess my goal this december is to grow my youtube world for my my, like part of my 10 year celebrations YouTube had me host their Women of YouTube creator event and I got to see a bunch of people that I hadn't seen in forever that I had wanted to meet for ages and just you know YouTubers and just like being in the same room as other YouTubers in front of them I was like oh my gosh <laughs> why don't we do this more so I don't know if I'm gonna do like collabs this month let me know if you want a collab week I used to do that but I'm like what would we even do? Like if I collabed with another YouTuber and we did like a get ready with me or it just feels like a bit weird. I'd rather spend the day with them and vlog with them. Do you know what I mean? I feel like if Freddie and I did a collab and we like switched dressing rooms, that would make sense. But there's a ton of other YouTubers that I, I really want to collab with. But like, I'm like, what would we do? You know, what do you want to sit and watch for 20 minutes? Maybe let me know in the comments because I, you know what, I could do both. I could do some like proper collabs and then I can do some like vloggy collabs with people that don't necessarily have like a niche on YouTube, you know? I don't know. I feel like we need a brainstorm as like a team. I've made a mess, obviously. Oh. Ah, that scares me. These are the grind dark blend beans. I was using the house blend, but I like both. I just don't like the light, the light house, the light blend. What is wrong with me today? I almost, this is gonna go everywhere. I almost just grabbed ketchup out the fridge. Like I'm gonna put ketchup on my coffee. So this isn't really how I'd hope to start Vlogmas. Usually I would aim to put my Christmas decorations up on day one or something super festive, but with the whole kind of like renovating thing, it's not really the reality. So for the next couple of days, I've got my wardrobes being fitted. So today they're doing the dressing room and then I've got two more rooms that are being done. And well, I think tomorrow they're doing the dressing room as well, actually. And then as soon as they're gone, we will decorate, but it's not the end of the world because I actually need to buy some decorations. We also need to go through the decorations that I have and see, you know, what else I need. Yeah, in my ideal world, this is not how I envisioned my December starting off. I thought we, you know, hit the ground running day one, Christmas music, Christmas vibes, Christmas decoration. I guess I can decorate in here. I could do that. I don't have anything to decorate with in here, but we could. But yeah, if you're wondering why it's not that festive yet, 
I'm really trying. But I am so excited to finally have a dressing room. It means that we get to sort all that out. And then I have some more furniture being delivered tomorrow. I've got, I thought my bar stools were coming tomorrow, but I don't think they are. I've got a couple of mirrors. They were supposed to be delivered the other week, like two weeks ago. And what are they coming tomorrow? Is, or are they coming later in the bar stools? I don't know. I have some furniture coming tomorrow that I need to be in for. That's what I know. But it's going to be a super fun month. I am going away for a couple nights. Well, I think actually, I don't know how many nights I haven't booked it, but I'm definitely going, which is going to be really fun. So my super festive, so you can guess. And I also am celebrating one of my best friend's 30th birthdays. Actually, I've got quite a lot of birthdays this December. And just so much fun festive stuff. There's so much to do in London this time of year. I want to go to Notting Hill and see all the festive things. I'd love to go to Bond Street and do a little like mooch around the shops, go get coffee from Ralph's, just super festive things like that. And I get to share it all with you. I've been doing things like that already, but I've just not really been sharing them. So now I'm like, oh, we get to document it and remember it. All right, this is how it's looking. Nothing's really in over this side. However, over here we have the start of the wardrobes, which is so crazy. Okay, so place still H&M order. Initially I was looking at H&M home and then it's turned into this. So I think we've got two sets. Yes, okay. You might know what these are going to be just from like the internet. But the first thing that I got is the gorgeous, is it a cardigan or a top? I feel like you can wear it both ways and I shall be wearing it both ways. Oh, see, it feels more like a top because it's stretchy, but look at the back. It's got the bows. I don't know how well you can see that. But the idea is, I think you wear it like this and then on your back, you've got the cute little bows. And then I got a set which is these like boot clay sparkly trousers, which I'm looking at now. And actually, I think they're gonna be okay. Oh my goodness, that's so exciting. Oh, love it when things fit. And to go with that, a cardigan. Look how gorgeous this is. I feel like this is so festive. Just anything that's going to make any outfit look more festive, I am so down for. Oh, I love it. Okay, I can't wait to try it on as a whole. And then I randomly managed to get one of the Pepper Rabanne dresses in stock. I think it's that time where people are like making their returns and suddenly they've got random ones left. But this is, I think they called it like a puff dress. Oh no, I don't like this. This feels stretchy and weird. I will try it on for you, but I don't actually like how it feels. But it is a very beautiful dress and I, yeah, I mean, really, I just wanted to try on the bootleg trousers and the cardigan. And these were just extras that I was like, if I'm making the order, I may as well. So I will try those on with you in a little bit. But if you're wondering why I'm having to hide away in the kitchen, it's because the fitter is upstairs. He's not being like in my space or anything, but I just don't want to be in his space. I'm one of those people that whenever anyone's in my home, I really just want to give them their space to do what they need to do. I don't think there's anything more annoying than doing your job and having someone like breathe down your shoulder. So I think I just try and do the complete opposite and then maybe I go a little bit overboard with it and they're like, is she even here? <laughs> I actually need to uh, do something with all of these. I also need to get some fresh flowers. I don't know if you can see, I've had these for, it must be about a month and some of them are starting to turn downwards. But I read this thing that you could dry flowers in water and that's what I was attempting to do. But I don't think it's working. But you know what? If I just don't touch them, they look fine in the background of videos. So for now, they're fine. But I thought I would show you. Out of all of these things, not all of these featured in my gift guide, but I will, I'll link my gift guide down below. I'll also link my 100 ideas for Christmas video as well. They're slightly different. But I thought I would show you what I would put on my Christmas list. So firstly, I would do the Pillow Talk on the Go set because I love every single thing in here and they will get loved and used. I would do the Chalky Truffles because they're chalky truffles. Also, I would do the Radiant on the Glow set from Charlotte Tilbury because this serum is my favorite thing in the world. I like the magic cream. I don't love it, but I would do this purely just to get the serum. And then I would also get myself the Cow Shed Signature Hand Caddy. I actually might keep this. That's really selfish of me, isn't it? But I think I might keep this and just have this maybe in my guest bathroom, like my master bathroom, because I just love the smell of this. And then I would also get myself the Jisoo Honey Glow 
yellow icon set because I want to try it. No judgment here, but I will be keeping this because I love everything in this set and it's just the cutest ever. And finally, I would get this from Cordley. This is, I don't actually know what the set's called. Hydrate and Restore Body Essentials. Here we go. This body butter is literally one of my favorite things. I finished a whole tub. It's in my empties. I have like a, a basket of empties and this is in it. And this oil I have almost finished as well. I love this, especially for when you're like getting your legs out. It just, oh, it's the best thing. I didn't realize they did a bigger one. Oh my goodness. But yeah, this is the one that I would go for. So this is the little setup that I've made um, don't know why my pillow has turned into my hairdressing station, but I have this fear of putting like hair tools on the floor and it like ruining my floor. It's never happened to me, but you know, you have those images that are just like ingrained into your mind. And for me, one of them is like a carpet with like straightener marks on it. But I'm actually quite enjoying having my own little getting ready station up here. So I, yeah, I, I think I told you yesterday actually, because I, I'm a bit rusty at vlogging, can you tell? But because I'm going away this month, I packed all of my makeup and skincare up and my hair care. These are like my travel things. These are from Space NK. They're the best things I ever bought and they do different colours and different sizes so you can make like your own set and then all of my hair things are just in here but it's actually super convenient because I am going to be dipping back and forth between places for the month. I can just kind of pop those in my suitcase and then I mean when my dressing rooms are like all done I'll be able to unpack everything like all of my makeup, all of my perfumes. I don't think it's kind of computed but that in like two days I'm gonna have a whole freaking dressing room and be able to use it. I also have to empty this room today just like we did yesterday with the other room we now have to do with this one and I don't know where I'm gonna put everything. I think I'm gonna have to end up loading a ton of it into my bedroom but it's fine. It's just probably gonna take a minute. Actually I can't even take I can't move the peloton. Hopefully they'll be able to work around that. It did say on the instructions that I had to have empty rooms. At, like with like nothing in the center. They said even if there's a bed in there, it needs to go. But I hope they understand that I'm simply uh, not strong enough for that. But can we talk about how quickly my hair has seemingly grown? Like, what the heck? Has it grown quickly or do I just feel like it's grown quickly and time's just going normally? Because it just feels obscenely long and I don't want to cut it. <laughs> Am I getting to the age where it's inappropriate to have extremely long hair? Maybe in the eyes of some people. However, I went to this L'Oreal event last month with Helen Mirren and she was saying that she cut her hair super short like an old lady should and then she grew it long again just to annoy everyone because she doesn't care. <laughs> and I was like, oh, I wanna be completely like you. So the hair is staying long. I mean, it could probably do with some shape being put back into it, but it's grown out beautifully. This is the state of my drawing room, by the way. The whole thing is just full of Hammond's furniture. Uh, so. Yes, for now, it's a no-go room, but all of the builder stuff's gone and it's been replaced by cupboards. The fitter's just left for the day, so I think we should go up and have a look. His name is James, by the way. He's so nice. And he just said to me, he was like, obviously you can go in and have a nosy. He went, I don't know how much you'll be able to see because I've like leaned things against things. He said, just be careful. He said, but it's not dangerous. So he's literally just walked out the door and what is the first thing we're going to do? We're gonna go and have a look. Oh, and if you're wondering if my house is an absolute oven, because I'm obviously in shorts, it's not the kitchen's just the warm place. I can control that. Well, I can control most of my house zoned but that room specifically I can control it so it's like a little warmer than everything else because I just keep the door shut but oh my gosh I'm nervous I've just put this on this is from a company called mum's handmade and it's a handmade cardigan but it's like the thickest warmest comfiest there's even a hood it's honestly wow uh it's honestly so cozy it's like wearing a dressing gown but obviously it's not ah well this is how we moved the drawers out here I mean that saved me a job oh my gosh I'm nervous I'm, I'm sure the light will be off anyway, so I'm not going to be able to see, but... <gasps> okay. He said, as he said, he's... Oh my gosh! I mean, he did say he's kind of covered everything up this side. Oh my gosh, it's going to be huge. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so excited. So as you can see, we're doing all the way across that wall. We're then doing this wall into the alcove and then we're doing this alcove. And then there's also going to be an island in the middle. Oh my gosh. I also love that I'm vlogging whilst this is being done. So you get to like see the journey day to day with me. Honestly, I can't believe it. Even just seeing things behind me. I also love the color of the wood. <gasps> I can see the color of the actual, okay, I love it. 
I love it. Okay, phew. This was tricky to pick because I didn't just want bright white. I wanted essentially like a, a cream color because as I've said a million times, I didn't want this house to be like stark white. So when there's been enough things to be white, I've tried to make them like off white or antique white. Yeah, just not bright white. So this is what I can actually see. Let me shut the door. Oh, I love that he's got prime. That is hilarious. Okay, so I cannot remember off the top of my head what is going where, but the thing I'm actually most excited about is my island because it's where all my drawers are going to go and it's where I'm going to store my makeup. But I also love that there is some space above, so I'll be able to pop some bits up there. These rooms are so, so tall. It's incredible. It's probably making his job much easier, just having the space to kind of maneuver around. But oh my gosh. So you can see he's laid down the bases for these. And then in the corner, it's like an actual corner unit here because it goes goes round into the fireplace. Oh, I feel like you can actually see the cardigan like this. Isn't it so cute? I think the hood's a really nice touch. I mean, I think I unboxed it in a vlog anyway with you back in uh, October, but I love. Let's go to the dinner. I'm really hungry. I also really wish these were more ripe so I can make some banana bread. It's all I fancy right now. I'm just wanting, I'm like, can you please? I feel like if I put them in the oven at a really low temperature and bake them a little bit, it would have the same effect, but I'm choosing to be patient, but let's have a look in the fridge. That's pretty disappointing, to be honest. There's some mozzarella balls, there's some smoked salmon, <laughs> some chickpeas and some jam. Oh, and eggs. I think it's going to be a uh, cup of dinner tonight. Mm, actually, I could do eggs with smoked salmon. That actually doesn't sound too bad when I say it out loud. <laughs> it just doesn't look that exciting in there. I told you I'm rusty. I just inhaled some soup that I found and then went, oh, I should have shown them. It takes a couple days to get back into vlogging. You know what it is? It's like, it, it's habit and you have to form the habit. And obviously I was filming daily back in October and then in November I kind of, I think I posted like five vlogs, something like that. And now <laughs> I'm like doing it every day. I don't know why. It's a mental thing. I've got to get through the mental thing of like, of remembering you guys actually want to see these things. But I ate soup. It was really yummy. I'm now very full and I am going to let it go down. And then I'm meeting one of my friends to go for a little evening walk with Cody, which be really lovely i think we're gonna do a good hour and a half maybe mm, hour and 40 stomp just to get out and about would be really nice i went out this morning with him as well but he loves a long walk he just loves to like trot along like he'd much rather a longer slower walk than like a brisk you know too fast walk i thought whilst i had a couple minutes i would do a little try on with you so i've got this one on and you know what i love it i really don't care that everyone's going to have this like i, I really don't care i think it'd actually be really sweet if i walked in somewhere and like a few people were wearing it i just think that would be really cool but can you see the back a bit better now it's on i just think this is so sweet i would so wear this the other way around as well with like a really cute bralette underneath because i don't actually think you would see that much of it but i think this is so feminine so beautiful and you know i love my black silk skirt from reformation and that's how i would wear this and i definitely think you could dress this up and down as well. So this is an absolute winner for me in keeping this. I also figured I'd have to get changed to go out on a walk anyway. So, oh my goodness. I think they're fine. Oh my gosh. Do you know how difficult it is to find trousers that fit? I mean, they're a little big on the waist, but not like horrifically. Like I don't need to do anything to them. Okay, these are cute. Can you see the length? Oh my gosh, you can actually see the length. I think these are so cute. Let's have a look. <laughs> it's so rare that I see things on H&M that I'm just like wowed by and I was so completely wowed by this. I would wear my cute little YSL strappy heels with this and even I think just a cute bralette underneath. I mean it depends what where I'm going but I do love that vibe of wearing like underwear as outerwear and then something kind of like you know more oversized over the top because this is quite a big cardigan for like a going out kind of situ. Let me know what do you think. I'm definitely on the other one. I'm not sure on this one because I don't know how versatile the trousers are going to be and you know what I'm like. I like everything to have a million uses but I do love the cardigan. I feel very cool in this it's just you know when you wear something you just feel really like it really gives you a, like a vibe i like it but i don't like it enough i really like the shape of the top half i think it's so flattering so lovely and you know what i don't even hate the bottom obviously i knew it was going to be this like poofy style and i think it is really cute i just can't get over the material i mean you can probably see it fits like an absolute dream like it's really really nice but it's just not quite right i think i would put it on every time and look at the material and just think it looks a bit shiny and like not quite what I was hoping for, you know? I was like standing in the mirror like this, being like, shoot boots, 
could do it. But no, I, I like, but it's just not quite right. And you know when you just know that if I did keep this, this would just sit in my wardrobe and every time I would go to try and wear it, I'd find something else. It would never get picked. It would be the last pick for the team. And I can't do that. It's time. We have to empty the room. Are you ready, little man? How are we gonna do this? I feel like you haven't really seen him today. Yeah. Say hello to my friends. He's very chilled, he's very content. Uh, I feel like I didn't really talk about him moving here. And then he was just suddenly in a vlog and it's kind of how it happened. He's settled in like an absolute dream. He's so happy, he's so in routine. I really thought it was going to be a bit of a, not a rocky experience because he's very chilled. He's a very chilled dog. As long as he's with someone he knows and loves, he's very chilled. But you know what it's like when you're in a new place, I expected it to be a bit like, yeah, I know, like a few sleepless nights or something like that. And literally nothing. <laughs> The dog is home and he feels very at home, don't you? He's like, mom, I wanna go to sleep. I have to move everything out of this room now, I'm sorry. So I think what I'm going to do is move everything that I need to work out the next couple of days into the snug downstairs so I can just work out down there. And then everything else I'm going to put in, yeah, the guest room or my bedroom. There's not too much in here. It's just ended up becoming a bit of a catch-all for my clean linen and things like that just because I don't have the cupboard yet, but I will do in a few days. Do you think that's safe? Because it's the best that I can do on my own right now. I have propped it up with, with the table. It feels stable. It just doesn't look the safest, but I don't know where else to put it so they can get access. So <laughs> it'll have to do for now. Can you see yourself? Last thing. And I think I'm going to have to take everything off and move it and then put everything back on or I'm not going to be able to do it. It gets so warm moving things around and the house isn't even that warm. I mean, the kitchen's warm, but <laughs> everywhere else isn't that warm. So I've kind of just split everything between my bedroom, the guest bedroom, the bathroom, like the main bathroom, and then the snug, just because I will work out in there, so it kind of makes sense to have my yoga mat and things like that down there. Oh my gosh, can I do this in one go? Oh, oh almost. Minus one. Can't leave one behind. Ah, oh, perfect. <sighs> okay, I'm very happy with that. We've done it. How crazy. Gosh, the rooms just feel huge when they're empty. So this is what it looks like. And they are also coming back this week to fit the other half of the shutters, which is nice. They went and adjusted the bottom one a little bit. I, I mentioned it in the last vlog, but basically the radiator is slightly higher. So we decided the best course of action was that they come, they bring it, and then they measure it when they had the physical uh, like shutter here. And they've gone away, amended it, and they're gonna come back and fit it. But yeah, this is the room. I mean, I'll show you it better in the morning when it's bright outside so you can actually see but I love this room. This was the one room that I was really unsure of colour-wise and I think it's turned out being one of my absolute favourites. We're doing our night routine and I've got that little like buzz of like excitement for what's to come for the month. I genuinely have like butterflies in my tummy. December is going to be incredible. I really want to get as much as possible out of this next month and I really want to document it all. So yeah, I've got those like rumbles in my tummy of cool things coming. <gasps> I look like something off. Um, what do I look like? What movie character do I look like with my hair like that? Tell me. Is it Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? No, I don't think it is. It's something like that. Maybe it is. Maybe one in one of the Charlie and the Chocolate Factories, Ruka Salt has her uh, hair like that? I don't know. Anyway, oh, we're back. Did you miss the uh, the end of night vlog spots? It's so funny what becomes habit and routine in these vlogs, but as kind of like vlogmas goes on, I will have literally everyone out of the house, like builder wise. So I will finally have access to my drawing room. So maybe some of my nights will end in the living room, who knows? But that's very exciting. I just can't wait for that moment. I can't wait to have a Christmas tree up and have a sofa up. And the craziest thing is it's days away, which is just, oh, the most ridiculous thing. But tomorrow Hammonds are back and I am going to start writing out my Christmas, well, <laughs> I should have done this a while ago, writing out my Christmas gift list. I text around everyone tonight for, you know, when you need things for like their kids or whatever. I'm like, send me your lists. Let me be Santa. And I am going to go to Westfield one day, maybe like super soon 
soon actually and you know get as much as possible otherwise it's just going to get so busy so quickly I just think December always flies I always think I have so long I'm like yeah we have like 24 more days until Christmas which actually when I say out loud is just so crazy but that's really not that long but let me know what is your gift of the year like what are you hoping to receive or what is something that you are really excited about giving I genuinely do not have a Christmas list this year uh, there is nothing I could want or need for and anything that I am possibly missing in my life is just like <laughs> bowls or like cutlery or I you know there's a colander I really like but I don't need it so yeah I've decided this year I, there is just simply nothing that I want or need for so I shan't be making any kind of Christmas list my mum's always still asked me to but this year I'm just gonna say like it's it's fine I am more than satisfied I have my home I have my dog I have my health I have my friends my family I just feel like there's nothing that I could ever want to ask for so yeah it's, uh, I feel like that's real adult growth, isn't it? Although in saying that, that probably makes my mom's life a heck of a lot harder. <laughs> I forgot to put my Summer Fridays jet lag mask on. It's so funny, it's called the jet lag mask, but I don't think I've actually ever used this on an airplane. And I'm going to spray some of my sleep spray. This is almost gone. I like the Temple Spa one, and I also like the This Works one. It just thinks really good to have a scent you associate with sleep, it really helps. And on that note, I am going to love you and leave you. Thank you so much. If you made it all the way through Vlogmas Day 1, give this video a like if you did enjoy it. It means the world. When you show your support and give the vlogs a like, it would be amazing if you do enjoy the vlogs, if you could make a habit of giving them a like when you watch them each day. They will be up each day at 4.30pm. And if I can get them up any earlier on the weekends, then I will absolutely try to. Don't really know how it's going to work when I'm travelling abroad with like time differences and missing slots and all that jazz and being on aeroplanes. But I'm going to try my absolute best but we'll see won't we we'll find out because it's not very long away but thank you so much for watching and i will see you bright and early in the morning good night